Whitaker and Yoel Romero. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go. Round one, Yoel Romero and Robert Whitaker. Whitaker has talked a lot about the previous two meetings between these two fighters and how much it has taken out of him. And man, Matchmaker's not doing him any favors. He's got to get through this guy again. He's got to do it again. It had to have been 50 of the toughest minutes of his life. But he showed when it got tough, he got going. And he bit down on his mouth guard, went after the Oro Girl, and won both fifth rounds to keep his UFC title. Oh, big right hand from Robert Whitaker. Man, he just makes it look so easy on the feet. It's because of his demeanor. It's everything about the Reaper that makes you think he's having a good time, but also not giving you that much energy. He's got that real easy type of vibe with him whenever you come in contact with him. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice stick with the right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Powerful leg kick land. Good stick. Ooh, ooh, oh, a little single collar tie oh, there. Big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He can throw! Oh, straight right! 26 total strikes have now landed for Robert Wood. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Slow your pace. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Back to the feet now. Oh, how about the Whitaker right hand? See, this is why when you sit down to play EA Sports, you have to John, no question. <laughs> no question. I know where I'm going. I try to make it go random, but I randomly select the Reaper, Robert Whitaker. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Whitaker going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Punches blocked. Oh, connects with the one-two. The Olympic silver medalist Romero going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Huge knee lands from in close. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. He's hurt bad. Big knee there. Oh, he lands another huge knee. How much more can he take? Going for the takedown here, and it is good. High amplitude takedown there, and he gets it right after catching the leg. So those are some high-level fighting instincts on display right there. All 
Right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Romero's has got full mount now. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. All right, buckle up. Here we go with our second round. Robert Whitaker and Yoel Romero. Effective punch there by Romero. Oh, oh big knee. Oh, big knee. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his Hook lands. Oh, he might be out. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Went for the inside leg kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Romero's got a big through starting to form on the right side of his body. 58 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. And in terms of the accuracy rate, 41% tonight against Yoel Romero. Well, missed on that one. How about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up in the boxing. And that is on full display right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. No! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, well-timed with the knee to the head. Just over three minutes to go. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whitaker gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also oh, staying on against gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that save. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Just unable to quite find that range. Straight to the body by Whitaker. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big body keep lands. What a punch. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. A 
lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Are working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Romero's able to transition back to side control now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. That one's stuck in. Nice right. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head movement. It's the athleticism of Yoel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big oh, knee. big knee. Oh, straight right. And he caught the kick. Oh, and no. Huge right hand. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And now he lands it. It's a combination. Oh, that is the most good shot. It's all the fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the... Side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands with the ground and pound. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, side control now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. So the unofficial numbers, 113 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. Well, still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts. 40% the accuracy right now. Whitaker's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Whitaker gets back up again. Nicely done. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, face upstairs and lands crushed to the Stop, very soon. 
continues to mix it up. Do you believe it? Oh, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. While we take a look back at the highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at three. Ain't chasing the bitch, you chasing the dream. Oh, damn.